and I'm coming to you live from the quantum uh, that is also known as Hot Springs, Arkansas, where I am here currently scouting out a couple of projects and uh, introducing myself to this part of the, 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 the country, which I've never been before, and it's incredible. If you've never been to Hot Springs, Arkansas, it's a magical place. And uh, as we get into the kind of quantum and beauty and aesthetics, uh, this would be the place. It's full of energy and crystal technology <laughs> and love and really a lot of good vibes. And so, yeah, let's kick it. Okay. Um, just thank you for um, what you're doing. <laughs> and I love the title of the talk, Checking In with, with, the con with the Quantum, because, I mean, one of the things that's just blowing my mind is that a hundred years after, you know, the ideas, you know, of quantum ideas sort of <laughs> came to us, <laughs> unbelievably, the majority of the world and even places where you think is just unrelentingly deterministic to, you know, to a point of disaster. I, I mean, my, my field is AI research and Honestly, I am just gobsmacked that <laughs> some of the biggest money, some of the most advanced thinkers in the world are trapped in a vision of a deterministic future for AI that is so mind-bogglingly off base. The, the work you're doing, the way you're approaching it is actually, even though I'm working in AI and having to build a platform, I, I put it in the chat what I'm doing, I feel that I have to open this stuff. I mean, you know, eventually I want to get these simulations to appoint ordinary people and designers and everyone can interact. Because if we don't have people like you interacting with this work, we are really in a very false vision of the future of AI. I mean, for a start, the distinction between artificial and <laughs> natural. I mean, these deterministic things, which no one's denying that, you know, classical determinism has its place and there's many things you can do with it. But it, it just blows my mind. And I just love, I think what you're doing is the only way to approach it. You have to find ways to... I know you've said it in your wonderful language because I suppose it's what you're working <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, big thank you. I hope to eventually get there with, with AI and allow designers to play with the, you know, play with understanding the future and the, what it will be in ways that are really meaningful instead of like, I mean, honestly, foolish. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, right. Brooks, let's talk quantum. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Thanks, well, thank you so much, Trish. Uh, Tish, that's so that's a great. I love that you used many of my favorite words. Gobsmack was one of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, <laughs> yeah, and please invite me out. I'm happy to meet with you and the team, and, uh, and we can uh, collaborate or share knowledge and information about uh, the future of AI, which I'm also playing and dabbling in. Um, oh, that would be but, awesome. Or, yeah, but to yeah. your point too, like the quantum, uh, and you're right. No one's really doing it much. Um, there's a, my wife and, and uh, some of her uh, people that she's connected with are, are starting to reach out and connect with the quantum and, and bring that back to her side. So she's a great person to collaborate with on also. Um, but, but you're right. What is fascinating is everybody's designing for this, this 3D reality that we live in. But all this information is coming from other sources. The quantum <laughs> field is happening. Is Right, it's I mean, fascinating. It's like every generation we're creating a super intelligence, and meanwhile we're throwing billions of dollars to speculating how super intelligence might emerge from it, where it won't deterministic, you know, hyper rationality and all the rest. It's just I don't know. I am gobsmacked. <laughs> One of the things you have to do. I rarely mention quantum because if you want to be shut out of any conversation with you know, hyper-rationalists <laughs> or determinists, it's not going to take you far. So I've been trying to be very creative with that too. But Computers and, or like what, however the world works on like whatever the technology is at the time, you know, it's like all that stuff around like pressure and like, you know, like all this stuff that Freud talked about, you know, about, you know, like was all built around like the steam engine. Um, and, you know, and I, and I think that you're, you know, you're right. Like a lot of the thinking that determinism has a lot to do with like algorithms and the way that we understand like, contemporary, you know, like the last generation of computing. And I think, you know, AI is a new paradigm of computing. And then, you know, is maybe not the final paradigm of computing. So, I, I you know, it's, I, that's a whole other rabbit hole. But we, yeah, we could, we, yeah.
we don't need to lo worry about losing our jobs because as designers and artists, I'm picking stuff out of the quantum. AI can't do that. AI is only picking stuff from the data set that's down here. It can't right. do it yet, but you're absolutely right. I mean, deterministic AI, AI is just, this is not, it's not correct. <laughs>